welcome. Today, I'd like to talk about Mark Wilson. Lance White Eagle asked me if I would talk about Mark Wilson. As you may know, Mark Wilson passed recently. We lost him. He was a brilliant performer. He was a trailblazer. He was a pioneer in our art, and we have lost someone truly great. So Lance White Eagle, thank you so much for your request. Hopefully I can do justice to this. In 1975, when the Mark Wilson Course in Magic was first published, it was published, it had a, 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 a spiral binder, it was vinyl, and it came with all the necessary props. Phil Thomas sold me this kit when I was 15 years old in 1975. And I started reading through it page per page, learning trick after trick. Uh, that magic has stayed with me my entire life. I consider this to be one of the great investments in magic. Arguably, the finest course in magic is the Tarbell course in magic. Eight volumes, right? This is one volume, but it covers a wide variety of magical styles and effects. And I just don't think it should ever be, it should ever be missed by any, any truly aspiring magician. I think this should be in everyone's library if you want to learn magic. It's just that simple. It's groundbreaking. It is monumental. It is indispensable. So in 1975, I bought my first edition. I don't know what happened to it. In 1981, 82... I got married. I moved away from Baltimore to go to seminary in Springfield, Missouri. Uh, when I got home, I was missing a lot of props and materials, and I don't know what happened to them, but, but I lost my first edition. Um, but I, I do, I've always kept an edition in my library, and this is the one I currently have. I, I actually was able to see Mark Wilson perform. There was a convention up in Pennsylvania I remember the Pendragons were also at the same convention. It was in 1994. It was the year I started working at Richcroft. It was just before. I started working at Richcroft in April. This must have been in March. So my wife and I drove up to Pennsylvania and we watched the Pendragons and we watched Mark Wilson live and it was, it was just a wonderful experience to see him live. I, I was glad I got to do that. So, James Mark Wilson was born April 11, 1929, and he crossed over January 19, 2021, just this year, just a few months ago. He was a pioneer television entertainer. Two other names float to the surface when you're talking about who blazed the trail on television. It was Milburn Christopher, it was Don Allen, and it was Mark Wilson. Without those three people, without those influences on television in the early years, arguably there would have been no space for Doug Henning later, and then later David Copperfield. So uh, we do owe Mark Wilson a great debt, not only for his course in magic, but also for blazing the trail on television. Mark was born into a uh, uh, family. His father was a traveling salesman, so he traveled around quite a bit. Uh, he saw a magician in, in a hotel lobby in Indianapolis by the name of Tommy Martin. And that's when the magic bug bit, and like most of us, it never let him go. Uh, he later started working for Douglas magic land shop as a clerk let me tell you something folks if you want to learn magic there's two great ways to do it be a clerk at a magic shop or busk go out on the street corner and busk because you're going to get the the hardest knocks another great way is to entertain in a bar or a restaurant where you're going table to table or you're standing behind a bar entertaining you have got to be on you, you learn what is commercial, you learn what is strong, and this is the way Mark Wilson learned magic, man. He was standing behind a counter selling magic. He, he did, and that's how he learned it. He attended the School of Business Administration at Southern Methodist University 
majoring in marketing. Now see, later he would go and he would make deals with big sponsors, uh, big companies, and this is how he blazed the trail in, in magic. Uh, he launched Time for Magic on a local station in Dallas in 1955. He made this show possible by attracting Dr. Pepper to sponsor it. So his business background, his marketing background, really came to bear on his profession. Uh, and this is what launched his career. He created the first show to be videotaped and nationally syndicated. The Magic Land of Alakazam debuted on October 1st, 1960 on CBS television and aired every Saturday morning on that network for four years. In that show, he was assisted by his wife, Nanny, and by Bev Bergeron. It was later sponsored by Kellogg's. So he had Dr. Pepper early on, then he attracted Kellogg's. Uh, so he was doing some, some heavyweight business. And if, by the way, these the, the, the Magic Land of Alakazam is available on DVD. Pick it up, watch it. You will learn so much by watching Mark Wilson. He reminds me a little bit of Paul Daniels later on. Uh, Paul Daniels is, is, to me, one of the greats of our business. Um, but you'll see similarities between these. He is so congenial. He is so decent. He is so kind. He is such a warm uh, personality and presenter. You will understand what makes a magician successful when you watch Mark Wilson. Carl Owen, by the way, Carl Owen built a lot of his illusions in the early going years. Later, a young Johnny Gahn was his builder. John Gahn, who would later go on to build for the likes of Doug Henning and David Copperfield. In 1965, the magic land of Alakazam was internationally syndicated. Wilson later created the Pillsbury Company-sponsored Magic Circus in 1971. Here's a little bit of trivia for you. Mark and Nanny made an appearance in 2015 in the series Penn and Teller Fool Us, where they were part of the reveal for Greg Wilson's act on that show. As I mentioned, in 1975, he published... The, one of the great courses of magic ever published. Uh, folks, I hope you've enjoyed that little journey through the life of Mark Wilson. Uh, he has made quite an impact on me. I don't know if I shared this with you, but the Course in Magic is full of wonderful photographs of Mark Wilson uh, doing his act, Mark Wilson performing. Here's a little bit of history of, of Mark Wilson through the years. Uh, by the way, he was a consultant on many shows that featured magic, like The Magician with Bill Bixby. Um, so you'll get, you'll get a lot in this book other than magic if you're interested in, in learning more about this great entertainer, Mr. Mark Wilson. Thank you so much, Lance White Eagle. Thank you for asking for this. Please comment down below if you have a request. If you want to see me cover a subject, please mention it down below. Please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.